Hey guys and welcome back and as you may be able to tell from the sound I have some of my bins filled and the air going. Now I am kicking it into high gear out here in the greenhouse restructuring things and coming up with good plans for this summer. And what I've decided is that I'm going to put probably 10 bins um, on the lower level to breed shrimp and fish and then utilize this top level one side for um, setting up hardscapes and storing stuff and the other side to grow a bunch of vegetables. Now this greenhouse has a lot of cool features that I'll show you in the upcoming months as we progress. But I wanted to show you today the progress on the air system, tell you how I did it, and show you the lilies that I dumped into water uh, in preparation for moving them into my yard tubs. So let's get started. Now I showed you guys last year this as well, so I'm not going to spend much time on it. Uh, last year I ran PVC underneath the edge of the bins and then dropped valves down with airline to the various tubs in order to provide aeration for them. Now I'm doing the same thing on this side. Uh, these tubs are all prepped. I ran the PVC yesterday. I didn't think it was exciting enough to show you guys the whole process. Um, I tapped them with, tapped it with the valves, like you see here, um, so that I can adjust the airflow. And then today I picked up the last of the PVC and fittings in order to run it across the back of the greenhouse and tie it back into the pump over here. Um, I also filled all these bottom tubs just in order to let them start to grow biofilm, develop daphnia and other microorganisms and because my plants are coming in this week which I can't wait. Now generally I do a few different orders of plants. I do one pretty early. Actually last year I was a month ahead of where I am now um, in order to plant all the greenhouse bins and then I do another order later on in order to plant the yard tubs. Um, so because I was filling these with water, I went ahead and opened up my black trash bags of lilies. And you can see that there's quite a lot of spring growth. And they'll just hang out here in the greenhouse for another week or two until I really set up the tubs in my yard in order to move them out there. They do much better outdoors than they do indoors. You can see also I saved a little teeny tiny piece of my sensitive plant from last year. I did order more to come in. And then there's a little piece of Asian something or another seed fern or something like that. That's a floater that survived. And then I have the um, tub of um, this stuff that I'll use to seed all the others. Then I have a few other floaters down in the fish room, but for the most part I don't use aquatic plants like uh, aquarium plants out in my tubs. I stick to a lot of these marginals and that's because the marginals will provide shade for the tubs, helping them to not get quite as hot. And they also feed really heavily from their roots, which will be dangling into the water, which helps with some of the algae issues that are inevitable when you grow plants in full sun. And you can see that a lot of these are really starting to come back pretty nice. And in fact, some of the ones that I thought were totally dead, like this one, are starting to get shoots. And with the plants that come in this week, I'll probably add some to some of these pots. But for the most part, I'll just rehang these pots on my tubs and see what happens. Now I did uh, go ahead and go to my local nursery and pick up four bags of generic aquatic soil. It's my favorite thing to use to pot my marginals. Uh, it's about five dollars a bag. It goes a long way and of course we'll cover that process again um, once my plants come in. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of those updates. I picked up a bunch of seeds and some dirt and uh, I'm going to try and get some vegetables started here shortly. And yeah, it's going to be a busy, busy time, so stay tuned. I also went ahead and prepped this entire garden for planting, which will be happening probably not until May. But you can see that some of my succulents are really starting to come back in gangbusters, and there's some volunteer plants around. Um, the bog is still doing great. The succulents are still largely dormant. Um, but, well, yeah. We'll stay tuned here and see what goes on, but I can't wait to get all this stuff planted. It's really testing my patience to wait for the weather. And then over here, I have plans. Uh, the two tubs that are currently housing my marginals in the greenhouse. Obviously, once the marginals go into the various tubs, I won't need them. 
so I'm going to set up another of these Laguna tubs over there. Um, and then I'm working on purchasing a number of smaller tubs from specific locations in order to show you guys what it would actually cost to set up a small tub in your yard, patio, or balcony. Um, so look forward to those videos coming as well.